Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we're going to take on another project. Uh, we're still working on the golf cart over here. Uh, making some progress on it. But uh, my buddy over at uh, Twisted V Twin Garage, Mark, he asked me if I'd give him a hand. He's got a lot going on in his shop. And uh, he wanted to know if I would uh, put together his Pro Mod pull motor. The V Twin, the 15 and a half cubic inch. So uh let's take a look at it here i got the parts laid out uh, there's the closure plate uh we got the block up here it's all been it's all been bored and sleeved and ready to go uh it's been reinforced welded up here on the sides to keep the jugs on uh it's got the plate on the front here to keep it from uh stretching and cracking it goes clear up into the heads here uh Basically, that's it. Uh, all the uh, the lifter valleys have been machined out, and we'll show you why here in just a minute. But uh, that's that's that part there. Uh, one other thing we did have, or he did have done, uh, they put needle bearings in the crank, or I'm sorry, the cam lobe. And here's the cam right here. We'll put that down in there. Yeah, you know, that just that helps with just with with the spinning and rotating of the cam. So uh, might as well get to that. There's the cam. Uh, it's got an adjustable gear on it here for the timing. Uh, we'll move on to the crank. Uh, well, let's go back to the cam first. This is a billet cam, uh, uh, specifically machined. Uh, to his specs with the low with the lift and duration and everything that he wants uh, let's move on here this is the billet crank and you guys notice the bolt holes here these have adjustable weights uh, you can see where they've drilled a little bit out here this motor has been balanced uh, and uh, these weights I still have to uh, torque these on and put Loctite on the bolts for those uh, Connecting rods, billet connecting rods, and uh, getting ready to put those on. Uh, we will plastic gauge those. Uh, we got the bearings for those right there. They run a bearing insert. Uh, pistons, we got the pistons here. Uh, they are gas drilled, coated on the on the uh, skirts for better uh, uh, movement, I guess. <laughs> Um, it's early in the morning. I'm having a little trouble uh, thinking there, but uh, so let's move on to the heads. Pro V heads. Uh, I don't know if he wants me to say where he got them from, but uh, these are the Pro V heads. Uh, they're a recast head. They are not a. They are not a uh, stock head. Uh, I mean, if you guys can see how compared to my finger, how big that port is, you know, on that intake, you know. Uh, exhaust ain't quite as big, but you know, they're they'll do the job that needs to be done. You know, kind of a closed chamber design here. Uh, let's move on here. Well, we got the roller rockers. Uh, I didn't take all of them out of the bag, but you know, we're it's going to be a full roller motor. Got the roller rockers, got the roller lifters, cross tie bar, and the machining that I showed in the block here in the lifter valley. Uh, that's what this is. That's what that's for to clear this horizontal tie bar, and uh, you know, like I said, it's got the got the rollers down there, everything. There's the rings for the pistons. Um, there's his other head. We're uh, I think we got all the parts we need to to get the internals going here. Uh, I'll set the camera up and uh, we'll start. Uh, uh, we're gonna start by taking the bolts out of the counterweights on the crank. And lock tighten them and torquing them to 45 foot pounds. And uh, like I said, uh, uh, this is billet, billet, billet rods, uh, aftermarket pistons. These are not pit, these are not uh, stock pistons. Uh, but uh, and another thing, guys, when we refer to billet, it's nothing real. I mean, it's special, but it's not billet. All it, remi all it means is it was made out of a solid chunk of steel, aluminum, whatever, plastic. You can have billet plastic stuff. 
Um, <clears throat> there's forged, there's cast. Forged is um, they have a mold, they put liquid steel into it, or soften steel, heart heated up steel, and they drop heavy weights down on it, and it forges the just like forging a knife or something, it forges the piece out. Cast, just like you know, casting concrete or anything else. It's li actual liquid steel poured into a mold. Um, they're all good parts just for what we do. You need the billet. You need the solid steel, you know, pieces. Uh, especially the, the spring pressure and stuff that we run on these heads. Uh, I want to... I don't know exactly what Mark's running on his, but I believe they're 130 or 160... Uh, Close pressure, seat pressure on these valves, uh, each one. So uh, definitely have to have a, a solid crank on that or cam on that. Uh, that would snap a one of the cast stock cranks in half in just a heartbeat. So, all right, like I said, I'm rambling on enough. Let me get this stuff all cleaned up, put up where I can work, uh, and we'll we'll get to putting the weights on there permanently. You know, home. We'll bring you back.